Hello there, hi back with another review. Uh, this time it's the the clockwork droids from the girl in the fireplace. I love these figures, I love the actual clockwork droids. I think they're, they're glorious creations and they actually look beautiful on the show. I really like the episode, it's one of my favourite episodes from the Tenant se uh, seasons. The figures are pretty cool as well, they're really highly detailed. The paint's nicely done on, the masks look great. There's not really much I can, I can say sort of uh, negatively about it except um, the uh, the blade, the weapon that's sticking out of their arms, I didn't originally know because I never bought one of these uh, in their packet because I could never find one. I didn't realise that they actually came with this until I bought a bulk lot on eBay and I had one with it. And I was like, oh wow, they actually did come with the blades. Uh, most of mine uh, are missing theirs or some of them have broken off, as is the case with the black one uh, that I have here. But it's good to know that he was actually well loved. Sadly though, I have two of the black suits. Um, this one's missing his weapon, the other one's missing his weapon, but the other one's also got like a huge scratch marks um, around his crotch region, so he uh, he's just sitting in a box. Um, I really like the sculpts for these figures. Um, I like the differences between the two. I know there's a third. Uh, there's a purple one, I believe. Apparently he's really rare and really difficult to find. And I've, I mean, I've never seen him. I've seen pictures of him, but I've never actually seen him himself. Um, but the best part about these guys is you can remove their heads, or their masks, and their wigs. Oh. Ah. oh. <laughs> you can apparently also remove their heads too. That's news to me. Ugh. There we go. That's back on. Um, and you've got the clockwork design. They're nicely detailed considering how small the heads are. I think it does a perfect job in showing uh, the level of care and effort that character used to put in their figures. Posability wise uh, and movement, range of movement is kind of limited. We've got the arm, uh, the elbow joints, we've got the knee joints, we've got the a kind of sort of um, bend. Well we've got a forward bend on the legs. We can't get bend back because of once again the plastic uh, the plastic jackets which is a hugely running theme with these figures. <laughs> There's so many plastic jackets so none, hardly any of them can sit down. And uh, I believe the ninth Doctor, ninth slash tenth Doctor interior TARDIS came with a chair which I don't think anyone's ever been able to sit on um, in the entire range because <laughs> of because of the because uh, of the jacket, you can also turn the head. You can only turn this head. Uh, you can't really turn. You can't really turn the head from the. Um, While well, they've got the wig on, obviously because the wig gets in the way, which is a little bit of a shame. But I think it's a fair. I think it's a fair sacrifice. I still think they look amazing. They're absolutely wonderful figures, and I really want to get one, a black one that isn't broken. And eventually, hopefully, I will find the elusive purple one. We can only dream, eh?